So you're a fucking human being. And if you attach, you attach yourself and your mind to any ideology, you're going to be on a road. And that road may or may not lead you in a good direction. But you're going to stay on that fucking road if you're attached to an ideology. And it could be a terrible road. It could be a road of you know, circumcising your daughter's clitoris because that's a fucking tradition. I mean, these fucking crazy bitches in Africa that cut holes in their lip and stretch them out to put plates on. Why is that? Because they got on a fucking road and they, stick, they stuck with that road, regardless of rational thinking. They didn't use rational thinking at all. They just adapted a predetermined pattern of behavior that makes life so much more simple. And that's what every fucking religion is. The problem is no one knows. You cannot know. You can have your own beautiful personal experiences. You could have been the person that was actually touched by God. But when you start yelling and ranting that other people have to follow your lead or the fucking world's going to end and Christians are going to be taken away, I know you're full of shit. I know you're full of shit and you know you're full of shit. And the real problem is that we can't say it because everybody's got this freedom of religion, freedom of religion, religious freedom, the freedom to express yourself. Even if you're expressing yourself with nonsense, nonsense that helps scared, lonely, sad people lock on to that nonsense so they feel like they're a part of something. I mean, that's what it is. It preys on people whose lives fucking suck. So it's all nuts. It's not like your shit's cool and my shit's not. And it's not that, you know, yoga's the answer or fucking mushrooms are the answer. There's, there's just questions. And until we're honest about that, we're never going to evolve. The human race is stuck in a giant quagmire when it comes to our behavior and our thinking about our behavior. But there comes a certain point in time where you have to pop the training wheels off. And you have to recognize that all this morality that you've developed is good because it's good to treat other people good. It's good to treat other people the way you would like to be treated yourself. It's like a fucking golden rule. And there's a reason for it. And that reason is that we're connected in some strange way that we don't totally understand. And unless you are good to other people around you, unless you're kind and friendly and warm and loving, you're not going to fucking enjoy this life. You're just not. You're going to be problems everywhere you go. You're going to have problems everywhere you go. You got to figure out a way to enjoy this fucking life. It's not because of Jesus. It's not because of Moses. It's not because of anybody that may or may not have ever existed. It's because that's how you fit in better in the world. That's how you stay positive. And it doesn't have to be some shit that was written 5,000 years ago on fucking animal skins. That doesn't have to be the golden rule because it's old. You know, that's dumb. We need to figure out like now today what what is you know the best way to live your life what is the you know there there's got to be ways you can be putting forward the most positive energy I mean we know objectively what's causing pollution we know objectively what's causing birth defects and you know and are we're taking in too much chemicals and not enough vitamins we know objectively all this stuff we know how to organize our world and yet we don't do it we know how to organize our health and yet very few people do it we know all these things the right path to like being like a happy, healthy person is to do all the shit that we already know you're supposed to do. Take care of your body. Take care of your health. Take care of your mind, your stress. Meditate, be kind to people. We all know that. I mean, you ask anybody, they know how to get by and to be the, 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 the most evolved version of you that you can be. I mean, it's not like a, a magical checklist. If you talk to people about it, you said, okay, here, you're, you got a person, you want to improve them. What are the things that you're going to do to them? Okay, well, if I was a life coach, the first thing I would say is this guy's got to get on a diet that makes him healthy. I don't mean a diet just to lose weight. I mean just healthy foods in your body, many, many vegetables, vegetables, a lot of good, good quality protein, a lot of water, stop the sodas, stop the bullshit. Start working out your body and get a better sense of like how this machine feels when it's moving, it's flowing better, there's less tension in it, your mind feels like relaxed and, and you enjoy every single moment of the day better. Step one, everybody knows that step, right? What's step two? Be cool to people. Be nice to as many people as you can. Smile at as many people as you can. Have them smile back at you. Tip well when you go to restaurants. Just do the most you can. Be as nice as you can. You know, and just still manage to not have people walk all over you. Just get through this life as nice as you can. What else? Do what you want to do with your life, right? Don't don't go be doing something you don't enjoy. Don't do something that's don't get locked into you know a, a car that you can't afford and doing something crazy because you need the money. Don't don't do that. Do what you want to do. Do what the fuck is it that you really want to do? Because if someone else is doing it, you can do it. You know, I mean, everybody makes their own path through this world. But a lot of people don't follow the path that they really fucking feel pulled to. You know, just for whatever reason, they got negative programming. You know, when they were kids, someone told them they couldn't do it or told them to take the shortcut or, or take the, uh, the, the sure route. That's a, a sad thing, man.